visit and you can make appointments to visit the office and meet an advisor there. Today we have with us Catherine Hada, Consul General Catherine Hada, who has very graciously agreed to open the fair and also address the students and parents and press here. So, as a senior economic officer with 29 years of experience in the foreign service, she assumed charge as United States Consul General in Hyderabad in October 2016. Her prior positions include Ministry Councilor, Minister Councilor for Economic Affairs at the U.S. Embassy Rome, Associate Dean at Foreign Service Institute, postings in Afghanistan, China, Taiwan, the U.K. and New Zealand, as well as assignments with the U.S. Trade Representative and on Capitol Hill. I want to give a warm welcome to all the students and parents and American University representatives who are here today at this year's Education Fair in Hyderabad. So thank you all for coming. You know, it's a really important day today because education is a very fundamental part of the U.S.-India partnership. And we in the United States are committed to provide Indian students with the opportunity to pursue world-class education in the United States. A good education gives young people in India and anywhere in the world the scope to learn, to experience U.S. culture and society, and to be part of a strong alumni network when they come back here to India. And we find they really are able to find excellent jobs uh, when they come back. And in many cases, they start their own businesses, and they are uh, the cutting edge of entrepreneurship here in India. The United States really offers the best possible opportunities for higher education. Many of the finest education institutions in the world are situated in the United States. They're world renowned. And in all, we have about 4,500 educational institutions accredited uh, in the United States. These uh, institutions provide a great range of choice for students. They provide, um, once you identify the right educational institution for yourself, you'll find a flexible curriculum, a really top at academic quality that is recognized the world over. And uh, there's also value for money because there are several options for financial aid typically. Universities also provide students with important services that, uh, for an exchange student, uh, for example, are invaluable. There's career guidance. Uh, there is usually a dedicated international student office because the problems or issues that overseas do go to. So the advice you're getting is completely according to your own interests, and it's free. So I really encourage everyone to take uh, advantage of that. Now, why are we here precisely today? Uh, we're here because um, for these two weeks, it started October 27th and it will go on for two weeks, Education USA is organizing education fairs in eight cities across India. Hyderabad is one of them. So what you'll find here are participating uh, universities from across the United States, universities and colleges, and they range from two-year community colleges to four-year institutions to master's and PhD programs. They're all very eager to meet with you here, um, and there are, these representatives are all here to connect with you, students and parents, and they're going to also answer all your questions and concerns about studying in the United States and their institutions. This is an annual event. Uh, last year, more than 600 people attended uh, this fair, and I, it seems to me we have, we're going to have a enjoy with that as well and find it enriching. I'm going to close with one final request. Uh, since the time I arrived in Hyderabad a year ago, I've observed, as have my colleagues, that not enough female students are applying for study in the United States. Uh, India and the world need more Indian female leaders, and what we would like to see is a more balanced gender figure in the number of Indian students that go to the United States. Why? Because that will better reflect the incredible pool of female talent that I have met here. It's been such a pleasure. They're amazing, dynamic, 
uh, female stu women students, girls, women and girls, uh, female business leaders. Uh, we'll, we'll have the Global Entrepreneurship Summit here at the end of November. The theme is Women First, Prosperity for All. We believe it very, very strongly. But all of you, dear students, are the future of India. And so I really look forward to seeing you go to the United States and also see what great leaders that you become uh, when you return. So thank you so much for your time and enjoy the future.